We got boxes stacked, totes to unpack. There ain't no time to relax. Coffee source, photo list, so. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Outcountry Sales. If you are new here, I am Amber, and today is gonna be a you might be a reseller if video. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. So I'm actually doing this one a little differently. I'm going in there blindfolded. I'm going back two weeks because I know there was still comments on that video that I haven't got to, but I'm just gonna pick three random ones, maybe more, we'll see how it goes. And uh, just gonna read them off and see what happens here. All right, so I'm gonna pull them up on my phone. Oh yeah, this is the one where I said, can I make a pile? You might be a reseller if you use the words, can I make a pile? That's my favorite one. I almost got to say it at the garage sale the other day, but there wasn't quite enough stuff there for me to say it. First one is back road bitter chuck. You might be a reseller if your favorite sport is auctions. Yes, something I don't do, but would like to get into more. I do storage unit auctions, but psh, haven't been able to do those in forever. But yes, auctions. That's why you're the back row bidder. All right, the next one is, <gasps> I like this one. This one is totally me. Okay, this is from Susie Q's Never Ending. She got a long name. I don't know if I can see it all. Jewelry. I'll make sure to put it up. Susie Q, Never Ending Jewelry something. I can't see the rest of it, but I'll put it up there. You might be a reseller if you keep losing your pens and wondering if they accidentally got shipped with an order. Oh my god. I laughed my butt off when I read this one because I lose pens constantly. Constantly, constantly, constantly. It is a daily struggle for me to have a pen. Literally. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Ooh, this is a good one. Jen's Closet Gems said, you might be a reseller if you offer to pay a family member in advance for dibs at their item before they get rid of it. Oh my gosh, yes, yes, Jen, yes, for sure. Every time someone gets a gift now since I've been reselling, which is, I've been reselling now for a year and four months. Does that still consider me a rookie or am I a professional now? I don't know, you tell me, am I still a rookie? But I am compared to some of you. Um, now I forgot what I was saying. Yes, every time somebody gets a gift now, that's my first thought. It's like, hmm, I wonder how much I can sell that for all the time. I've never dibbed anybody's stuff yet, but I'm sure it will happen. I think I did three, but let's go find one more. Let's do one from last week. Nady Pies, Trinkets and Doodad. You might be a reseller if your family has to tell you several times a day you're not selling that. Yeah. My family likes to be surprised. They like to be surprised. They are always seem to be surprised when I actually sell something weird. Cause they're like, even, Mike is always surprised at the weird stuff I sell. Oh, this was a funny one. I remember talking to Nate about this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna share this with you guys and then that'll be it. Okay, you might be a reseller if you see a garage sale sign with an arrow pointing into an abandoned building with a razor wire around it and no cars and you still go in. And Nate said, true story. Well, let me see what the comments were. What did I say after that? That was so funny. That cracked me up. I just said, I told him to be careful. And he said it was so sketchy, but got a lot of Christmas items for 25 cents each. So it was definitely worth your time, Nate. It definitely worth your time. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this You Might Be a Reseller If video. It was a little bit different. It was actually kind of fun not really knowing what I was going to be reading. So let me know if you like this by giving it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Bye. I just posted a picture up on Facebook of a toilet coffee mug. And I keep getting comments on it and it's distracting me. It's a brief. Here, you guys want to see it. Oh, it's getting, I'm getting everything ready to take to the booth. I know you can't see me right now, but you can hear me. Got a box over here ready to go for the booth. But yes, this is the coffee, coffee mug potty. Thought that was hilarious. It's by one of my favorite companies, Big Mouth. They made the the unicorn that was like killing the, the gnomes. You guys remember that? 
But yeah, I just posted that on Instagram so I'm getting comments on it. <laughs> All right, let's go find one more. Let me go back. Let me go back. Let me, let me, let me go back. I got this super large Dickie sweatshirt the other day at Farm and Fleet because it was on clearance from 60 bucks to like 17 I think. So I was like, I'll take it. And it's like a gigantic large, so I'm like, it's super comfortable. We are the resellers of YouTube. Our name is Out Country Sales. We pick, we flip. Our motto is not fail we pick we flip it's time to send out the mail we got boxes stacked totes to unpack there ain't no time to relax copy source photo list so